Hello everyone, Carlos here. We're on keyboard shortcut number 14, which is gonna be about Control F and Control H, okay? So in essence, Control F is just to sort of find time data, okay, using the find and replace interface. Pretty much is this. Say that you have, for example, uh, some sort of row, ID row, or maybe ID row is hard to remember for, an, for now, but some maybe the customer, customer name. Maybe I wanna highlight it first and do Control space bar and then control backspace to get to the top. And maybe what I wanna find is all the people that are maybe named Sarah, okay? Just Sarah and wanna, I wanna sort of like scan each of them. Maybe another option is to use filters, of course, but maybe you like control find and replace. So now you do control F, okay? And you open this window, which is, a, which is the find and replace interface, okay? And once you're there, automatically you're gonna be placed on the find what, uh, box okay so for example there we can just zoom out and do Sarah okay and once I do that okay I can just press enter okay and actually it's gonna jump into the first Sarah that it will find on this selection that I did previously okay if I do enter again it's gonna go to the next one as you can see and then the next one and keep going like that and it's only finding all the people that are Sarah okay the other cool thing about the being on that interface and if it's open that you can move around. For example, now I move around from the find one box and it jumped to the format. OK, maybe you didn't see it because I'm just going to do shift tab. OK, if I do tab now, it's jumping into that section right here. So I'm just going to move this right here. So, OK, so you can see those dots on that bu button right there. Now, if we do tab again and I'm just zoom out. Now we moved into the within sheet, okay? So if you're trying to search for something just within a sheet, the, you will select to this option. Now, if you wanted to open it, you can open it with your arrow, arrow down. So again, you can see that it's easy to navigate on this window, okay? But you can also, for finding is Control F, for replacing, say that you wanna replace, you can also, maybe you wanna replace all the Sarahs for maybe another name, maybe Sarah Beth, okay? Maybe that was the correct name. And then what you can do actually, once you're here, if you wanted to replace all the Sarahs immediately, you can actually notice that something is already pre-selected, which is the finding next. But what we want is actually to go and make sure that we're in this selection. So in order to do that, you have to do tab, 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 okay? So the, the bad thing about here is that you, you have to press tab a couple of times to, to jump into that section. But again, if maybe you're in this, section right here, you maybe you can do shift, tap, 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 and then it's also, it takes a little bit of time too, okay? But again, like I showed you in the previous section, there's always a letter that is underlined in these options. So if we were already there, okay, and do control three, and actually we do A, it's actually gonna jump from that option to this one right here. So if I do A now, okay, wait, actually do alt A maybe, Okay, then again, you have to hold down the Alt key in, in order to invoke the Replace All button, okay? You have to hold down Alt key stroke, okay? And remember the clutch analogy on video number one. You have to do, uh, you have to press maybe sometimes in many of the keyboard shortcuts, maybe one of these key strokes, okay? And we don't have the function key, but to, in order to make your changes, okay? All right, so I did it. I did it and it actually tells me, well done, we made three replacements, okay? And then pretty much uh, that's what the control F and control H uh, pretty much is for. Okay. You can either open the control H to replace, or you can also, or you can all do control F to go and find. Okay. Now I think I went so fast that we even touched the, we didn't even went through the agenda, but that's pretty much it. That's what they're for. Okay. To open all those, uh, to open those interface. And I think we already touched that in order to navigate, you can actually use the special keystroke that is, uh, is uh, underlined under the interface that it will sort of detail you or signal you that which one is the one you have to press or you can also move with your tab okay control h you can move your tab around the keyboard sorry about the interfaces but then again it could be a long way or it could be a longer journey or you can actually just do find out what's the letter that is underlined to get to that point okay but again since this is not just as easy as the Chief F10 menu, you have to actually hold down this keystroke, okay, Alt, to move or, to move into that section, okay? All right, guys, that's it for this video, kind of short, 
but I think very useful because you can use your keyboard shortcut to find and replace um, uh, data, okay? See you for the next one for number 15. Thank you for watching.